When you download apps from iTunes, an icon for that app is added to your home screen to launch the app. When your home screen becomes full, a new one is added for the additional apps that you download. You can adjust the arrangement of the apps on your home screens by tapping and holding on any app icon until all of the apps on your home screen begin to jiggle. Tapping the X next to a jiggling app will allow you to delete it. To arrange apps, simply tap and drag the app to a new location. To drag an app from one home screen to the next, simply drag the app in the direction of the home screen destination until your home screens change. If you want to organize your apps into categories or folders, simply drag two apps that you wish to group together on top of one another. A folder will be created for you to name. To rename the folder, simply tap on it and edit the title. Tap anywhere outside the folder to exit it. Now you can drag and drop additional apps into this folder. Another great organizational strategy is to place the apps you use the most in your dock. The dock accommodates up to six apps and remains locked at the bottom of whichever home screen you might be on. To add a new app to your dock, simply drag it into the dock area. To remove an app from the dock, simply drag it out of the dock into the home screen area. When you are done arranging your apps, press the home button. Your apps will stop jiggling and you can now navigate and launch apps as usual. If you need to quickly find an app without scrolling through all of your home screens, you can swipe from left to right on your home screens until you find the Spotlight search bar. Spotlight searches the content on your iPad, including apps, music, video, and even mail or calendar content. Simply begin typing the name of the app, and once it appears in the search results, tap the name of it to launch it. Now you can keep your apps organized and easily findable. Take a few minutes to customize the arrangement of your apps and home screens to best suit your needs.